Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Day 5. Pray against his temptations. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then, after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. James chapter 1 verse 14 to 15. So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Galatians chapter 5 verse 16. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind, and God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. Prayer. Father God, I ask that you help Nim in his areas of temptation. Remind him of your word, Lord, and that you will always provide a way of escape. I ask for protection against temptation or the footholds that could eventually lead him into temptation. Help him to renew his mind daily and to understand the seriousness and consequences of giving into sin. Help him not to gratify the desires of the flesh, but to walk by the Spirit instead. In Jesus' name, Amen. Daily Generational Prayer of Blessing for you and your husband. May the Lord bless you and show himself real to you. May the Lord keep you and put a hedge of protection around you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and light your life with the fullness of his glorious character. May the Lord be gracious to you and show his saving power to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance on you and show how pleased he is with you. May the Lord give you his peace and bring you his wholeness. May you grow deeper in love with each passing day as you grow deeper in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. May your marriage fulfill the purpose that God intended it to. May you walk out the call of God on your lives individually as a couple. May your children, finances, and your endeavors be blessed by God and bring Him glory and honor. May your marriage and home be a house of prayer, a house of worship, a house of joy, and a small heaven. This is my prayer for you and the generations to follow. In the strong and mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Amen.